Hi guys, welcome to Geography uh, week number two. In, this, in today's videos, we are going to talk about uh, the object of study of geography that are the spatial patterns and phenomena. So we are going to get into this topic with examples and in order to understand this concept of patterns and phenomena, we need to think that everything on the planet is a process. So we have a really dynamic planet that is changing all the time and these changes are the basis of the things that we know, of the landscape that we know. So these processes, not all of them are the same because we have processes that are relatively fast and there are processes that are relatively slow, that are continuous, that, that they continue over time. So we are going to classify those types of processes into categories. The processes that are really slow, that are continue, and also that they are like very predictable, we call them patterns, spatial patterns, and those are slow processes on the planet. They are creating things like in a really slow motion, like mountains. Mountains are not just there, they are in, in continuous processes. Process that, for example, the Everest mountain is growing, uh, is getting higher and higher. Mm, I think uh, three centimeters a year. So imagine. So it's kind. Of, it's really slow. So those are what we call pattern. And because they are a pattern, we can predict them. We can predict them a little bit. Uh, what about the processes that are fast? That are happen. That they have a beginning and an end. They are really fast processes, relatively fast, and we call them phenomena. So these ones are the fastest processes. Uh, when we say something that it, when we say that something is fast, it's because we are comparing it in, with something else. In this case, this could be depends on the object of study, but it could be something fast like minutes or it could be something fast like just a couple of years it depends on our object of study it's not the same when we are talking in geology time or human uh, temporality so different different uh, perception of time right so let's use examples to understand these processes in, in this dynamic planet one of the examples that i like the most when I explain that the earth is not, it's moving, it's with a mountain. In this case, this is the Pico de Orizaba. So I have a really well-known mountain here in Mexico. It's the, the highest mountain in Mexico. This one, it's a pattern. It's a special pattern because it's growing over the time. It, this didn't happen like just at one moment and that's it. We have a big mountain, no. This is a continuous process of the tectonic plates that are pushing the crust, that are pushing that solid layer on the planet and creating those mountains. We are going to see about that in the second partial, about uh, what is the process of mountains. So this is a pattern. Uh, this is a, a type of pattern, a mountain. A mountain is a process of the planet, of the dynamic of the crust. And we have another pattern, a really pretty pattern, I would say, uh, a forest like this one. This is a pine uh, and oak forest. Uh, it's not just there like, oh, okay, I, I put a, a seed there and voila. No, it was a process held by pollinators, another organism, pollinators like hummingbirds, bees, um, bats, mammals that help to grow this forest into this mature forest and now we have this forest that maybe it took like 100 years to create this this forest by the help of, of of organisms so it's also a pattern it's a process it's not the same as this one that it took a thousand of years or maybe millions this one is kind of uh, in a short period of time, in a shorter period of time, but it's a continuous process. It could change over time. So, also a pattern. 
And we have another one that is not related to organism, well, another other organism besides human, that is both humans. Uh, at the beginning, we have small houses, right? But thanks to this thing, thanks to agriculture, we established in one place, we could establish in one place to grow food and therefore uh, communities expand. And now we have bigger communities and we call them cities, like this one in Shanghai, China. So we have really big cities, huge cities, because thanks to the agriculture, basically thanks to agriculture, uh, technology, and also is technology a, real, a, a continuous process? Or is just, it happens and that's it? Well, kind of like technology, it's a continuous process. Sometimes well, we, we are moving, in, uh, we are, uh, it's faster every time, but it's a continuous process. Since the beginning of times when we use tools, with stones and, and rocks, and now we have really important technology. So all these are patterns, slow processes, uh, since the beginning of humans to now that we have big cities and they are not uh, over. We can continue growing those uh, civilizations. So this is what we call the spatial pattern, but maybe you can see something here. We have like kind of like three categories. One of the categories, one of the categories, it's the category of patterns that are only physical, that are caused by whom? By the earth itself, physical. So when we are talking about physical patterns, it's when no one, not any organism eats creating them. So the origin is the earth dynamic. Only the planet is moving. The earthquakes, um, it could be uh, earthquakes that are causing this mountain, uh, different processes, but not related to organism. Because in that case, the biological patterns it's when you have the help of organism. Which organism? Any organism, bacteria, fungi, any organism except humans, because we have our specific category. Why is that? Because we are the most, um, we have the capability to change the landscape the most. So that's why we have a, a, a speci special category. So we have three categories of patterns, those slow processes that are happening all the time, they never stop, it's a continuous process. Three categories, it depends on the origin, of the, uh, it depends on the cause of the process, physical, when there is only the earth involved, biological organisms are involved, like the pollinators that are involved in the, in the building of this uh, forest or humans that are involved in the um, building of these uh, really big cities. But we say, that's with patterns, but we say that there is not only processes that are slow. We have changes. Start, they have a beginning and an end. They, they are kind of fast. Like, for example, one that is really pretty, but dangerous, it's really pretty and dangerous, like this volcanic eruption. This is the Popocatépetl, so this is one of the most active volcanoes uh, in Mexico. I think the most uh, active is uh, Volcán de Colima, but this one is like huge. And also because it's really close to a big city, so that's why. But yes, we have this type of phenomena. This phenomenon, this eruption, it has a beginning and it has an end. It's not a continuous process. Yes, it's happening. Uh, it happens twice a year. It depends. Well, if we have a physical uh, phenomenon, we also have biological phenomenon. And I'm going to give you an example that is causing a lot of damage in Mexico economy. The, this little bug, this is a mealybug, I think is the name, Cochinilla algodonosa. So this insect, 
is causing problems in crops uh, in forests because it used to be only in Asia but now we have it in America. Uh, it's an invasive species. So this one that is a play, it's considered a phenomena because it's changing the, uh, drastically and really rapidly the landscape and it's caused by organism. That's why it's a biological phenomenon. And we have another phenomenon in the category of human phenomenon that is something kind of sad, um, something that humans do, then you can guess. So it's fight all the time in these wars. So uh, the, sec the World War II, the Cold War and every uh, any type of war that you can think about it, it's a human phenomenon. The cost is humans, money basically, land, uh, minerals, resources, but the cost is humans and it has a beginning and it has an end. So humans are causing this and it has the potential to wipe out an entire civilization. So it's, a, it's relatively fast, it's a process of one start and ends and it changes. It, 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 could, it, it can change the, the, entire, the entire planet. So now that we have this classification between the slower processes uh, the, comparing to the phenomena and we have the fast processes that are happening on the planet, changes like a tsunami. It has a beginning, it has an end. So now you can answer activity number three in your learning journal using examples of spatial patterns or phenomena. Remember that we have three different categories, physical, the ones that are caused by the Earth's dynamic, biological, when organisms are involved, and humans, patterns and phenomena. So the next question would be, uh, how are we going to study these special patterns or phenomena in geography? That's for the next video. Thank you.